Very rarely do you see a ton of CPUs stacked up against each other in gaming benchmarks. Well, Ryzen has presented itself a great opportunity to discuss some benchmarks that are out there. Specifically, when to choose a CPU over a GPU and vice versa, so stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. So when we're talking gaming PCs, common wisdom has been to go with the more expensive GPU during a debate between the CPU and graphics card. Well, I'd say that's actually true in most scenarios, but there are times where it really isn't best. PC Gamer did a really great article on Ryzen, and they benchmarked quite a bit of CPUs with multiple games, even as low as the i3. PC Per also did an incredibly comprehensive comparison, but the GPUs weren't all that incremental, so it made it tough to compare. So I'm really going to be comparing with the PC Gamer article. And basically I'm going to be going over reasons why you might want to pick the better tier CPU over the better tier GPU when buying your system. But definitely keep in mind that broad answers are incredibly hard to give when it comes to hardware. Optimization is so important and pretty much every game can have its own answer. With that said, based on the results and mostly what we see in general, let's discuss. So why choose the next tier CPU over the GPU? First, if you have a very specific game in mind, if there's that one game you just need to play and aren't all that concerned about others, what do you do? Just check out benchmarks. Unfortunately, most benchmarks don't compare GPUs with a mid or low end CPU and vice versa. But these are to, for the most part, ensure the CPU or GPU, depending on the benchmark, aren't the bottleneck. Either way, you want to compare CPU performance on that game at the resolution you want to play at. Then check the two CPUs you plan to buy and see the difference in FPS followed by the same over on the GPU benchmarks. This won't show you exactly how your game is going to run, but if, for example, let's say the CPUs you're debating over has a difference in frame rate of 20 frames and the two GPUs are, let's say, 30 FPS difference, it's probably best to go with the most expensive GPU in that case. The second time is how you feel when it comes to DX12. Here's the thing. The new APIs are set to make multi-core CPU development for game devs much easier, but it's also meant to push more load onto the GPU. I know I'm usually in the camp of more cores for the future, but it's really tough to know when that's going to be, also if it will go that high in core count. Then we're talking picking a CPU over a GPU when choosing, so the difference would have to be big. I just doubt the differences will be big enough when we're talking really high core count, though you never know. Simply put, CPUs are given certain tasks during a game that the GPU isn't that great at and vice versa, but much of the tasks are best left to the GPU. Back to the point though, sorry for the rabbit trail there. Believe it or not, a dual core actually stands up quite well in plenty of DX11 titles shown on PC Gamer's benchmarks. It's actually really impressive. Yes, there are gains to be had along the way, but they aren't so massive as to warrant choosing a higher GPU to CPU in quite a few titles. Yes, that's even dual core we're talking here. With that said, DirectX 12 titles really lend a hurting to it. So if you plan to go dual core for future titles, I certainly wouldn't recommend it. Who knows if it's going to get worse, but where they stand now, the differences are neck and neck, whether you go with quad core or getting a better GPU. The third scenario is dependent on what else you plan to do with your device. If you want a game and do professional work, you have to ask yourself which is more important. Pick the CPU for the professional work and GPU for the gaming, unless of course it falls into the other scenarios. So yeah, those are just three examples, so keep in mind that there could be more, but it's definitely best in most scenarios to go with the better GPU. So yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please... So yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe. It really helps me out. And as always, have a great day.